Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program recreation. You may notice, well, something different with the time lapse and, well, the fact that this is a propeller plane. We are, I'm currently doing propeller recreations because I found that would be, well, quite fun. And to start it off, we are recreating the P-47 Thunderbolt. It had a crew of one person, a length of 36 feet, wingspan of 40 feet, and a height of 14 feet, and a wing area of 300 square feet. Its range was over 1,000 miles, a service ceiling of 42,000 feet, sorry, 4,200, 42,000? Yeah, 42,000 feet, all right. Uh, it carried up to eight Browning machine guns and up to 2,500 pounds of bombs. Quite powerful, all right? It was retired in 1966 by the Peruvian Air Force and its first flight was May 6th, 1941. It was introduced into the USAF in 1942. Its primary users were the USAF, Royal Air Force, French Air Force, Peruvian Air Force and Yugoslav Air Force. It was one of the main fighters of World War II and could reach a blistering speed of 190 meters per second because of its Pratt and Whitney R2800 double wasp 18 cylinder radial engine, which also powered two U.S. Navy Marine Corps fighters, the Grumman F6F Hellcat and the Vought. F4U Corsair. An, an advanced turbocharger made it really powerful at high speeds. Now, in the game, I represented this by having it also be powered by a jet engine because I could, without it, I could nowhere near reach the insane speeds. All right. With that said, I am going to, well, leave it off to its tournament fighting some interesting fighters. I forgot which ones, but you will be introduced to them shortly. Bye! Alright, for our first battle, we will be pitching the Vought SBU Corsair, not the Corsair you're thinking of, against the P-47. Alright, so, let's get this competition going, and I will skip to the part where they are in the air and the battle begins. Alright, so the competition has started. They are both going to be turning to intercept. Um, the SVU is a biplane and turns much better, but the P-47 has a great speed advantage, especially from this distance. So I believe it will be able to um, make up for, with that. So. The Vought only has one tiny, I believe, 30, um, 0.30 inch gun, alright? And it is taking some serious fire from the Thunderbolt. Ooh, as one of its wings is absolutely shred off! Wow, quite interesting. Alright, now, let's see. Will it live? The answer is definitely no. Um. Yeah. It is decimated by the P-47. A completely clean win, and that will definitely be a 10 on its score. Alright. Now, the Grumman F-3F. I know I couldn't get the landing gear perfect, but I feel like I did a decent job with this. Versus the P-47. Alright, you know the drill, I'm going to get these things into the air, and the battle will then begin. Alright, so, the battle has begun. Um, the F-3F doesn't seem to be turning that well. I don't know if that's some sort of bug, or I don't know what's up with that, but 
All right, they will be intercepting at a rapid speed. The F3F is much faster than the um, Vought SBU Crusader, but um, I still believe that the Thunderbolt will still win. So, okay, it it opens fire. Many bullets, well, a few bullets are. S oh. I, as I said a few, pretty much all the bullets clipped off the F-3F's wing. Now, that is, I'm, I am loving how this is going. This is very um, decisive. Like, yeah, and it crashes, and the P-47 wins again with a score of 10 out of 10. It is doing amazing. All right, now, the final boss, the P-40 Warhawk, which is still, um, older than the P-47, so I still believe it stands no chance. As you know, we will be doing this, uh, same, same thing, every skip up to air, me no words good, but air skip, now, all right. The competition has started. The P-40 Warhawk has turned right over the runway. Huh. So, meanwhile, the Thunderbolt... Wait, will this be a battle over the runway? I like it when there's battles over the Kerbal Space Center. I find that fun, but I don't know why. Alright. They're intercepting each other at a rapid pace. The, um, Warhawk is... slow. But the Thunderbolt is tearing holes. Oh, they're tearing holes into one another. Okay, I believe most of the bullets missed the Thunderbolt. They're both turning around now. It all depends on who turns faster. That could decide the entire battle. All right. And a large volley shreds into the Warhawk. Clipping its wing? Causing me a lot of lag? But meaning, the Thunderbolt wins. Why is my game so- oh, there- now it's fine again. Wow! I'm going to say it- e the Thunderbolt got hit quite a bit. It took quite a bit of- well, it took some decent damage. So I'm going to give that an- um- an- a 7 out of 10. It, but that was quite something. There we have it. Now, I will see you at the final rankings. Alright, so, the final score the S against the SBU Corsair got a 10 out of 10. Against the German F3F, I decided to give it a 9 out of 10 as I did see it. In the end, I saw it get hit. And for the P-40 Warhawk, it gets a 7 out of 10. That leaves an overall score of 8.6 out of 10, causing it to be the leader. If you have any suggestions for future planes, please leave it in the comments below. Bye!